This is the story of Chanticleer and the Fox. My friend who keeps chickens recently told me of a surprising event where she almost lost her prize rooster, Chanticleer, to a fox that had gotten into her yard. So the story goes that one cozy morning, Chanticleer and the hens were snuggled together in their coop when all of a sudden Chanticleer woke with a start and he surprised the chickens awake as well. And they said to him, Chanticleer, what's wrong? Are you all right? And Chanticleer said, oh no, I just had the most terrifying dream about a horrific beast with flaming red body and teeth like knives and it tried to kill me. And the hens all laughed at Chanticleer and sa said, you shouldn't be afraid of a silly dream. And embarrassed Chanticleer said, you're right, uh, let's forget that this happened and go down to breakfast. So they flew down from the coop to the yard where my friend had laid down some corn for, for them. And as, they were, as Chanticleer was pecking the ground, he wandered towards an old bush near a hole in the fence. And what he didn't know was the night before, a hungry fox had crept through that hole and was waiting in the bush. And he'd seen Chanticleer and he thought he knew how to make a snack of him. So he revealed himself and Chanticleer was surprised and about to run away because he's a sheltered city chicken and he's never seen a fox before. But the fox said, wait friend, I just wanted to let you know that you are the handsomest rooster that I have ever seen. And Chanticleer preened at his compliment and the fox continued, you would be the most epitomal specimen of a rooster in the world, except for the rooster that I saw yesterday morning who had the most amazing crow of any other rooster ever. And Chanticleer was offended and said, my crow is more impressive than this other rooster's crow. And the fox said, hmm, I doubt it because this rooster had a secret technique where he would close his eyes and throw his head back before he crowed and it would make his crow more jubilant than any other crow ever. And Chanticleer had never tried that technique before but he was willing to give it a go to save his reputation. So he closed his eyes and he threw his head back and in doing so, he exposed his throat to the fox. And before he could let out his jubilant crow to the sun, the fox's jaws closed on his throat. And instead he let off an undignified screech. And my friend and the hens in the yard looked up just in time to see the fox dragging Chanticleer through the hole in the fence to the forest. And Chanticleer knew that if he made it to that forest, he would never be seen again. So he said to the fox as the fox was dragging him away, you are the superior being. I concede that you have beaten me. I only ask that you tell my, you tell your pursuers not to worry about chasing you because I have succumbed to your superior intelligence. And the fox thought this was a great idea. So as he reached the edge of the forest, he stopped and he released his jaws in order to make this announcement. And Chanticleer immediately flew up into a tree and the fox realized his mistake, but his pursuers weren't on him yet. So he said, Chanticleer, please come down. You misunderstood my intentions. And Chanticleer said, I don't think so. I will never crow with my eyes closed again. And the fox said, fair enough and ran off into the forest. And just as he did that, my friend appeared and she was able to rescue Chanticleer from the tree and she patched up that hole in the fence and they never saw the fox again. That's the end of the story.